Hello, Aries. It's your girl, the Flight Empress, and I am here to do you guys March reading. Okay, y'all, look, I decided to take breaks in between my zodiac sign. So I think it's you and Pisces I haven't got to do yet. And I know it's close to the end of March. This reading could definitely still resonate with March, okay? But it could also resonate with April. And don't worry, I will be putting out a reading for you guys for the month of April as well. But I just I just felt like it was better for me to take breaks in between my zodiac readings. Um, because some zodiac energies be so heavy and so strong that it really kind of wiped me out. And I find that this is so much better for me to do. So y'all, like I said, I do apologize because it is close to the end of March. But it's kind of giving me also because we're gonna be in Aries season, or is we in Aries season yet? Um, we might be already in y'all energy, cause so there could be definitely a a reason why your your reading was put off here, okay? Because I'm thinking that we are in Aries season right now. Let me see. I gotta check, y'all. I gotta check. I gotta make sure. <laughs> Let's see. March the 19th. Yeah. So Aries, we are already in your energy family. That's what I'm talking about. So yes, this reading could definitely resonate with the month of March and the month of April. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this energy and see what your heavenly ancestors, spirit gods, the most high source is wanting for you guys to know at this time. Divine Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for my Aries. What do the Aries need to know for the month of March? Divine Holy Spirit, what do they need to know at this time? Truth and clarity for my Aries. Show me what I need to see. Give me clear and precise messages. Show me what I need to see for the Aries. Okay, we got two, 14, and 34. Okay, some of you guys could have been born on the 2nd of April, okay, or the 14th. Um, somebody could be 34 years old. At the bottom of the deck, we got 22. Um, for some of you guys, you could be seeing 222. Two, two. This number could be very significant for you, or you will be seeing this number. Um let's see too so this is definitely the high priestess energy when you think about the major arcanas so um aries i feel like you are going to be finding out some type of information i'm hearing significant information this could be something that's going to end up helping you or helping someone else or maybe somebody else is going to bring you some type of news or information um this could be regarding a secret for some of you guys, you could be keeping a secret or somebody could be keeping a secret from you. But I, I do feel like something here is going to be revealed. I'm also kind of getting the energy of a high priestess. Some of you guys, you could be very spiritual. Um, you could have grew up in a religious household, but over time, you could have developed your own spiritual path to the most high. You can have your own relationship with the most high. And I feel like for a lot of you guys are the ones that I'm picking up on. You could be like a teacher or you could be a tarot reader. Um, you know how to talk to source. You know how to talk to your angels and your spirit guides to receive divine information. For some of you guys, you're curious about if you got what it takes to walk on this path some of you guys you are being pulled or called to be like a mentor or a spirit guide for other people you're called to bring some type of enlightenment into this world 
and I'm hearing you're needing to take a chance. Okay. For those of you who have not embarked on this path, but you've been curious, you've been having signs or synchronicities popping up. Some of you guys, you've been having dreams or, you know, maybe you could have got a reading and somebody told you that, you know, you're supposed to be on this path. You could be a medium, a seer, um, an intuitive, but I feel like you got like a hidden gift here. And you could be hiding this gift from other people. Or for some of you guys, it's like, <laughs> for some of you, you're afraid to come out because you don't want people thinking you're weird or something like that. Okay, I'm hearing don't fear judgment from people. Fear is one of you not to fear judgment from people, but fear judgment from him. Okay, something about um, spirit is wanting to work through you to heal or work with other people or to show people their own purpose and path. Um, yeah, but you're needing to take some type of action because with three and four, this is giving me the chariot card. For some of you guys this month, this is what you're going to be working on doing. Are you going to feel extra drawn to do this this month? Somebody could be, um, somebody could have a lot on their plate. Okay. Cause I'm also seeing the two of pinnacles with this card. Somebody could have a lot on their plate or is trying to get a lot of things done or uh, somebody have a lot of responsibilities. This could be regarding um, home because I'm also seeing the five of pentacles. Okay. This could have something to do with home or something dealing with finances. Somebody here is um, trying to do a lot to change some type of outcome or circumstances they've been going through. But it's like maybe you're not seeing the results right now. But I feel like spirit is showing you something that you're needing to do. And this is going to help change um, some type of narrative in your life at this time. Especially if you're being affected by your finances here. There's some type of decision you're going to have to make. Yeah, in order to resolve some type of conflict for some of you. I'm also hearing that there's going to be a need for you to um, put up strong boundaries, okay? You're needing to stand up for something or stand up for yourself. You're needing to be strong here, okay? Because whatever this is that the Most High is trying to show you or give you, I feel like it's life-changing. This is life-changing, okay? Let's see, y'all. Um, Mm. you could have like um certain people in your energy that could be draining you or um it's causing some type of conflict in your life as well i feel like spirit is wanting for you to see this or you're needing to like see what is holding you back but i'm getting like a external energy okay there could be certain people that it's wanting to waste your time. I don't know why I'm hearing it. It's like they want to waste your time. Or like they could be doing things to like irritate you or drain you. I'm also kind of getting like not wanting to be bothered or being very short with people. Okay. It's like, it's not you being mean or anything, but it's like, you just don't have the time. You're too busy. <clears throat> you know, somebody could ask you something and I feel like you're going to be very short with it. It's either yes or no. You're going to say yeah or no. And it's like you got you got other things to do. It's like you ain't got time to sit there, chit chat, and talk. Um, for some of you guys, you're going to be really busy this month. Mm. The angel number two symbolized peace, harmony, your divine life purpose prosperity, teamwork, and partnership. Okay, there could be a partnership um, that's going to be coming in. Or for some of you guys, you could have a partner that you was once dealing with that's going to try to come back in your life around this time. 
because we are also entering into Mercury retrograde on April the 1st. So for some of you guys, this could be the energy that I'm picking up on that's like interfering with you or it's like you don't want to hear from this person. Okay. But others of you, if you're already in a partnership, I feel like something here could be getting stronger between you and this person. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, angel number 14 symbolizes remaining focused on your goals, being rewarded for your, let me see, I cannot see that. Okay, angel number 14 symbolizes remaining focused on your goals, being rewarded for your caution, embracing positive change in the future, and recognizing and overcoming karmic debt. Yeah, oh, I'm telling you, for some of you guys, there is definitely a person, somebody you used to work with. This could be an ex co worker, or this could be a co worker, but maybe you and this person don't talk anymore. Um, but I'm picking up heavy relationship here. Whoever this is, I feel like they're going to try to come back in, and I feel like this is a karmic debt that you don't already close or you already ended. Something about this person trying to interfere with you. And I feel like this is definitely not the time. Something about you guys being too busy or your focus on bigger and better things. It's like, you don't, you know, like, no, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> I want to talk to you. No, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. Somebody could be very persistent or, you know, I'm hearing Bugaboo. I'm hearing Beyonce, that song Bugaboo. Um, let's see. Okay, angel number 34 mixes imaginations with intelligent actions and donates affirmative forces, prospects, and conclusions based on a series of efforts. Something about you guys receiving information from your heart self, okay? It's giving me like a bridge. Okay, yeah, something about, um, I'm hearing esoteric, or this is giving me cosmic um, energies coming in to talk to you or to give you divine information. And I feel like, family, you are very, very intelligent, okay? You're very smart, very intelligent. Something here is going to make sense to you. Are you is Something about what you receive, you're going to take action in to bring it into the 3D. Okay, so, yeah, this is you putting in some type of effort. Especially if you've been praying um, to to God, to source about a situation here. I feel like you're going to receive some enlightenment this month. Okay, some type of answer is going to come through for you. I keep hearing the sun, the sun, the sun. Something about Mars. Mars is definitely your planet. I'm hearing Mars in the sun. So Mars give off a very passionate energy or raw energy. Um, Mars um, is like a warrior planet and it rules Scorpio and Aries. Some of you guys could have Scorpio on your chart, but uh, it's like a warrior planet. Um, something about you guys, um, you could have, been going through some type of spiritual warfare or something about you being strong, especially if you've been um, going through a lot lately. You, it's giving me you not giving up. It's like spirit want to use you because you're that type of person. You don't give up. Like when times get rough, you keep going. You find a way out of no way. And whatever this is, is meant to come to the 3D realm. And that's why spirit is wanting to use you to bring it here because it's not only going to bring abundance into your life, but I feel like you can share this with other people. 
Yeah, something like that. Woo, Aries. I'm sorry, y'all. But I feel like that's kind of going to be the message here. Okay. Let's see. Some of you guys, you could be 25 to 30. I ended up cutting it on this card right here. I'm hearing that song, be encouraged no matter what's going on. He'll make it all right, but you got to stay strong. I'm also hearing that song, my God is awesome. He can move mountains, lead me through the valley. Yeah, something like that. Something about God um, removing trials and tribulations here. Something about you going through heavy spiritual warfare. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Aries at this time. What do they need to know? I'm going to try not to be too, too, too long. Animals can be very active around you at this time. For some of you guys, you could have animals or this could be family pets. Some of you, you could have your uh, mother, father, or like brother sister family member okay have pets and when you come around they are all around you or it's like um they're drawn to your energy at this time something about you guys vibration picking up or the frequency something about the grid spirit show me what i need to see for the aries what do they need to know at this time is this table shake let me see we got karmic is watching empress with hate and envy okay who is this karmic family that is watching the empress with hate and envy okay this could be a karmic uh friend for some of you guys you're needing to watch out for your friends not everybody you call friend is a friend let me move this back some um this could also be me, all right this could be an ex-friend. This could be somebody you cut off. For some of you guys, like I said, this is a partnership with the number two being here. Um, this could be somebody that you done separated from. Um, I feel like this person is watching you some type of way. If you got a social media account, this is somebody who's watching you some type of way. I feel like they're watching you um, be happy or this person think you're happy. Or like... Um, something about not giving them no energy this could be somebody who feel like you done pulled away or you're not giving them no energy i feel like this person is wanting to come in and talk to you but maybe you're not talking to this person or this is somebody who's holding back talking to you at this time but i'm hearing like they can't help it something is whoever this is i feel like they're going to try to come in and talk to you okay this person could reach out to you through a fake account some of you got this could be a family member for some of you okay put put it where it's supposed to be at family flip it around where it's supposed to be but this, this could be a family member but for a majority of you that's watching this is an ex okay they're mad or this could be somebody that your ex was once dealing with maybe there was some type of separation here and they feel like this person is trying to come back to you So it's like they're stalking you. For some of you guys, somebody's stalking you. I have not changed. I only want to come in. I only want to come back into your life because I want what you have. So y'all, this is somebody who ain't changed. Yes, this is a goddamn karmic. Um, this person is wanting to come back in to destroy your life. They haven't changed. Um, I'm also getting like a energy harvester. Like somebody who only harvests your energy, they use you to get what they want. And once they deplete you, they gone. And this could definitely be regarding your sexual energy as well. Cause I'm seeing fire. I'm seeing fire. And I know you're a fire sign, but I'm seeing actual fire. And it's giving me lust, passion. Okay. Sexual energy. Somebody is wanting to have sex with you. Okay. But they're very toxic or somebody is wanting for you to recommit with them. Um, 
just so they can hurt you again or just so they can get some type of information out of you. If this is like a, a ex coworker or a family member or something. Whoever this is, they sick. That's what the fuck is wrong with them. Okay, I'm sorry. To, but this is somebody who's like mentally sick or is somebody who um, this person literally could be sick. Or they have some type of issue going on at this time. And it's like they feel like you got the ability to heal them or make something right. But I'm picking up like disturbance. Okay, there's some type of disturbance that's going on internally with this person. Okay, Spirit is also calling for you guys to declutter and organize. You could be um, changing up certain things in your life. This could also be something about your eating habits, okay? Some of you guys could be going through a detox. I'm hearing juicing. Um, you could be going through like a water cleanse. Um, for some of you guys, I do feel like spirit is wanting for you to pull back from like processed foods or a fast food restaurant. There could be a need for you to like prep your foods or make sure you're taking your vitamins or any type of medication that you're needing to take. For some of you guys, you could be on some type of medication here. And I don't know if you ran out or you just stopped taking it, but there's a need for you to start back taking your medicine. That could be for somebody very specific. But for some of you guys, you're needing to get rid of some old items, okay? It could be old items of this person or um, something about getting rid of the old so you can um, bring in some new energy. Spirit could be telling you, hey, throw that shit away, throw that couch away, or throw this away. I finna bring you some new shit, okay? And literally, you end up getting some new shit. Now, I'm not telling y'all to throw your stuff away, but if you know something in your house is just, it got a lot of memories to it, or it gives off a negative energy, and you might feel like, well, shit, <laughs> that's the only couch I got, <laughs> okay? Why well, I can't throw that away, <laughs> All right, but it's like every time you see it or, you know, every time you walk by, it just give off a negative vibe. You need to let that shit go, okay? It's going to be all right. I feel like you're going to get um something new at the end of the, by the end of the month or at least by the end of April or something like that. Somebody can end up gifting you something, but there is definitely a need for you to declutter at this time. I'm also hearing declutter your mind, so there could be something you're going back and forth regarding in your mind there's going to be a need for you guys to use sound frequency i'm hearing like tuning forks or sound bowls or for some of you guys this could be listening to different frequencies i love going on youtube and the first numbers that come in my head i try to find it find that frequency and i'll go to sleep with it on on my tv um i really feel like this is going to help you cleanse here something about um cell rejuvenation okay this could be on a molecular level something about you guys removing something that has been sitting with you a long time all right you could also be needing to um get your energy up or get your heart pumping some of you guys you could be you could be taking up some type of exercise regimen Okay, but this is going to help you to release some type of stress and maintain focus. Yeah, we got the South. So some of you guys could be from the South. Um, this could be the South of USA or whatever country you're in. Um, but I'm also here in South Side. Okay, uh, but I'm also getting the energy of somebody being stuck in their South node. All right, it could be this person or somebody is trying to keep you in your South node or pull you back into your South node, okay? And Spirit wants you to be cautious, okay? Some of you guys could be suffering from a toothache. But I'm here, release, release yourself. Or somebody is needing to release you. We got weather. Some of you guys could be experiencing some bad weather, okay? Um, I'm hearing something about not weather forecasts, 
but I'm hearing energy forecasts. Okay, something about the energy, the grid, frequency. I know when Mercury go retrograde, you know, it definitely affects communication. Okay, something about you guys, somebody phone or something about your phone um, glitching or acting up or for some of you, okay? Or this could be for people in different parts of the world. Um, I'm, I'm hearing something about the internet. The internet could end up shutting down or somebody could experience a pow power outage or something here. I keep hearing grid, grid, something about the grid. Like family, if you got some important information stored on your phone or um, if you got a computer or something, you might need to um, get a device to like back up any important information or something. I don't know why, but that's what I'm kind of hearing here are in like important documents or something. Um, you're needing to uh, get uh, like, like I the other day I went out and got one of these USB uh, memory devices. And I don't know why this was like two weeks ago. I went out and got one of these because I got a lot of important information on my PC and I'm like, why did I go out there and get this? Okay. Um, but all of a sudden it's like it just came across my mind to go and get it. So I got a lot of information stored on this. Um, and I feel like something is coming. Okay, something is coming, or something could be happening in different parts of the world, or maybe spirit just wants you to have something um where you can back any important information up. Okay. It's kind of giving me like backup, something. Something about backup. Okay, family, for some of you guys, you could be getting some type of help. Okay, but I'm also hearing like a backup generator. Some, some shit, I don't know. <laughs> All right, something dealing with backup. Okay, make sure you got extra. Make sure. Yeah, make sure you got enough. I don't know. We're going to pull a card for that. I don't know. Spirit, show me what I need to see. Okay. We got create your own recipe. Somebody hating. Okay. Because I feel like y'all working in the kitchen. Okay. You stirring up something. You working in the lab. Okay. You in your laboratory, your dungeon, whatever. You, you, you taking time out to get something done or you're coming up with your own thing. And somebody here could be very jealous of this. For some of you guys, this is something to deal with entrepreneurship. Or you could be thinking about um, starting your own business venture. Uh, for others of you, you're coming up with your own like products or listings, something about a list. Okay, or you're needing to make a list. Or get something put on paper. I'm hearing something about copyright. Or this is something dealing with an LLC. Something about paperwork or important documents. That's for some of you guys. I feel like somebody going to find out about something that you're doing. And this is going to send them into a rage. Okay, I'm picking up a lot of anger. I feel like a lot of you guys, whatever this is that you're creating or building or making, you're receiving this knowledge from the most high, okay, that you're needing to get this done. This is this is going to be very important for you this month to get it done. And I feel like when you unleash it or when it come out, you're going to have a lot of people gawking, okay, with their eyes wide over like, what the fuck? This is what they've been doing all this time? This is why they've been so quiet. Oh, they think they're going to go out there and make money without me. Hell nah. Okay. Hell to the nah. Okay. X is watching or asking around about you. Like I said, family, I'm telling you, look, 
Yeah, this is somebody who ain't got no discipline. They lack consistency and they lack focus. And that's why this person can't be around you, okay? This is why they can't come back in because I feel like um, if their energy start mingling with your energy, it's going to put you in the same frequency. And spirit is saying no, okay? I'm seeing the hierophant stepping in like no. No, you, you turn your ass around and keep going. And for a lot of you guys, you're going to feel that that power come over you especially if that person reach out to you you're going to feel god's spirit come over you like cut them off now all right i'm here and you need to listen spirit show me what i need to see okay we got children are watching and listening so you could um you could have children by this person or this person could have children but I'm hearing that you are a child of God, okay? You're a child of God. So you are paying attention right now to signs and synchronicities, subliminal messages, okay? Um, I'm hearing apparition for some of you guys. But I'm hearing like spirit is coming through very strong, giving you information or showing you things. I'm also picking up on clairvoyance. So something about um, you guys seeing things okay as well with your third eye are you hearing things like this is messages from your angels your angel could come in the form of a man for some of you guys i'm hearing a strong masculine voice talking to you um you could have clear audience but i'm i'm hearing michael okay so archangel michael could be coming in talking to you or telling you to say no to this person okay declutter and organize you need to stay focused some of you guys you like i said you could have children with this person okay or this is somebody who want to have children with you they can have children with someone else i'm also hearing something about if you are if your kids like stay with somebody while you work uh, this for some of you guys this could be a daycare or you could hire a babysitter or you drop your kids off you need to like especially if you've been having a funny feeling about your children staying somewhere you're needing to go with your gut instincts or like if your kids are too little to talk you're needing to go with your gut instincts okay if you feel like something is off Yeah. Spirit, what else? Anyways, what else? Okay, we got humbling lesson. Taking down a peg or two. So yeah, somebody finna go through a major, major lesson. Okay. They finna go into a major lesson here. Um, somebody thought they was better than you or they they could outsmart you or they could do something to cause harm to you and they could get away with it okay but somebody is about to feel the wrath of the most high with weather being here somebody is about to have a tower moment or oh oh i just it felt like i got quivers or something something about spirit taking this person through the dark night of the soul okay and I'm hearing rampant. Like this is going to happen quick or all of a sudden. But it's because you're coming into full alignment. Okay. And this is somebody who's trying to interfere with um, some type of contract between you and the most high. I feel like you done cut this contract with this person though. There's somebody here you're cutting a contract with or you already cut a contract with. And I'm hearing you're in um you're in alliance with the most high at this time because God is wanting to work with you. He is our creator, he created everything, and I feel like he sent a, a lot of us, the chosen ones, here to co-create. Okay, but the best way to co-create is with him. So I feel like that's why you're um watching and listening and paying attention to the signs because it's like you're not making a move without him, okay. And whatever this is that God is trying to give you is very prosperous, not only to you, but to other people as well. Okay. Somebody could end up experiencing like a, a near death experience. Okay. Somebody could have had a near death experience. 
for some of you when you was little you could have had a near-death experience but i feel like it opened up your spiritual gifts or like something about you crossed the veil and you came back and so now you can see certain things before it happened but somebody could definitely end up having like a near-death experience this could be somebody who's divorced we got marriage here in the reverse this could have been somebody who was trying to be petty. Somebody is going to be experiencing this. Or this, it, it could be this person, especially if they're trying to interfere with your life. We also got ghosts from the past. So this is definitely an ex or somebody you don't deal with no more. Sick. I'm telling you, I knew I heard the word sick. So this is somebody who's trying to heal themselves at this time. They could be financially sick, okay? It could be something going on with their money, but I'm picking up on a physical, on a physical level here. This person is sick and they're seeking some type of healing energy from you. But some of you guys, if you have been going through some type of sickness, I feel like you're going to end up finding, um, you're going to end up finding out what you need to do to, to, to heal this or to make this right. Or some, somebody that's watching me is not taking their medicine or they're not doing things that they're supposed to do, okay? Especially if they do take medicine. I feel like this month you're going to you're gonna do what you need to do. You're going to do right or you could be changing your eating habits. If you've been drinking or something like that, I feel like you're going to be cutting drinking and stuff like that out. Okay, but I'm I'm seeing like some type of healing here that's going to take place. Okay, we got third house. So you can have, some of you guys can have placements in the third house. Um, This is the house of communication sharing. It's ruled by Gemini, the planet Mercury. It governs how you communicate and connect with others. So, like I said, there is some type of communication that's going to be coming in. Okay, this could end up happening two weeks from now. Okay, but I'm also getting like um, some information coming out because we got the tea here. So, the tea can end up being spilled or there's going to be some type of information that's going to come in towards you, some type of truth. For some of you guys, is you could end up getting a new place very soon. This card says that new place you've been waiting for is right around the corner. Yeah. And something here that was backbreaking is about to cease, okay? Or you're doing backbreaking work so you don't have to work hard later. Some of you guys, you're working very hard at this time. But I feel like things are going to lighten up for you. Or you've been working hard, okay, for a very long time, but I'm seeing like this ending, okay? Or something better is going to come in that's going to help you. Or there's some type of reward here, okay? Let's see, y'all. I'm going to jump into tarot because my ass stay behind, y'all. I've been trying. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Aries, truth and clarity. What do they need to know? the energy around them at this time divine holy spirit for the month of march show me what i need to see for the aries give me true precise messages for the aries somebody definitely want to come back into union with you or reconcile with you or heal things with you okay somebody is definitely watching you or thinking about you a lot like I said, somebody could be holding back some type of information or they're holding back communicating with you. Sir, show me what I need to see. Look at that. Nine of swords in the reverse. <laughs> show me what I need to see for the Aries. Look at the chariot. <laughs> Baby, what? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you got shit to do. Aries, I see you guys taking major action this month. Okay. 
um this is going to bring in some type of divine justice okay i'm hearing serious okay taking care of business and you're serious Mm. It's from the past. Mm. Right. <laughs> Look, not a pinnacle. This is you guys in full alignment. What? Okay. What? Somebody is fucking angry. I'm telling you, okay? Whoever this is that's hating on you or watching you or keeping tabs on you or asking people about you, they are fucking angry because they didn't get their way or uh, things in your life was going great and their life is falling apart. This could have been somebody who thought that you was going to come back to them, but you're not, okay? This could have been somebody you had a disagreement with. Baby, they are fucking angry, okay? They, they angry. They're mad. They're mad at you right now. Okay. Um, this person, whoever this is, they are gonna try to come towards you. Okay, with the ace of wands. Like I said, I kept picking up on passion, fire. Kept seeing fire and passion. Whoever this is, they just want sex. They want to have sex with you. They want they feel like if they could get you in the bed, that uh you will accept them back or you know you will allow them to continue to do the shit that they did to you in the past. I feel like you already know what this person is trying to do or what they want to do. This is somebody who feel like you can't find better than them. Okay. So it's like, they want to come in here and give you some rough sex. Okay. And try to make things right with you. But no, with the cherry here, I feel like that's a hell no. You don't moved away from this person's energy. Okay. Some of you guys, you could have relocated or you will be relocating. Um, you're focusing on yourself at this time, okay, or changing your life. It's like you don't have time, okay, to deal with this or to deal with this person. Um, whoever this is, they already done showed you who they are. And I feel like th for some of you guys, you you've been going through cycles with whoever this is. Like this is somebody who show up. They try to come in and give you makeup sex. You could try to heal things with them, but they still go back to doing the same shit. Okay. I feel like you're not having it no more. You're not. Yeah. And like I said, if you do got anything that belongs to this person or giving you negative vibes in your home, spirit wants you to let it go. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, you're needing to. I'm hearing something about clean you could be just cleaning or you could be having a yard sale or just getting rid of old things but some of you guys you you could end up donating clothes or something like that as well but you're getting rid of like some old energy here is what i'm hearing family we got weather okay with the nine of ones i feel like whatever this weather is this is not going to touch you you're not going to be affected by it Okay, not the ones in the upright. This is still fighting for something or still um, trying to pursue something. I feel like, you know, you're like, okay, I'm done. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to go through this no more. Whatever tower moment this person is going through, you're not going to be affected by it. I feel like you don't already heal, but somebody is about to go through a tower moment or somebody is mad that you don't gave up, that you don't want to deal with them or you don't want to work things out somebody is mad here spirit give me more for the weather yeah we got the king of wands aries leo sagittarius this could be another aries okay that's mad that you don't given up or you don't want this no more yeah this is somebody who who's definitely lusting after you right now some of you guys could have been dealing with a cancer we got the sun yeah so but some of you guys you are about to step into a lot of power okay um there's somebody here that you have removed from your energy 
or like whatever blessing that's about to come into your life is going to be a tower moment for this person okay and remember i told you that aries is ruled by mars okay with the king of wands being here in the sun i told y'all i kept seeing mars in the sun so something here is healing your life or will be healing your life and I do feel like this is some type of passion of yours. I feel like you're about to step very strong into your creativity. Uh, you're about to set some shit on fire. <laughs> okay, you just, you're about to set some shit on fire here. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be very attracted to you. Or something about you having a very attractive type of lifestyle or healing. Like you're going to notice your life is healing. Um, or your work. Okay, something about your work and growth a lot of growth when it comes to your work okay but yeah some of you guys you could be in a masculine energy right now okay something is going through a death and rebirth yeah and look six of one i'm six of swords this person definitely trying to return that's the truth because they want to talk to you family fuck that okay you are taking some type of action right now okay to to build something new in your life i'm picking up strong action like this is something that it's like when you finish doing what you need to do like say for instance you got a nine to five you come home take a bath and you can end up starting on something that you're trying to create and build uh for yourself for some of you guys you're wanting to take authority over your own life and stop giving people so much of your energy okay especially uh regarding the government Okay, you don't want nobody to tell you how much money you can make. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing too. Like, you're like, nah, I know how much money I want. Y'all can't give me the money I want. So I'm gonna go out here and create the money I want. <laughs> Something like that, family. You um, for some of you guys, you're about to watch an ex here uh receive some type of divine judgment. Okay. This person is definitely acting about you or asking family members about you or people that you know whoever this is family they are about to go through some type of judgment here and that could be another reason why they want to come back into your life or you know this is you flip it around where it go i'm telling you somebody could end up receiving some hard time or hard labor or um uh, somebody could be in courts okay they got a lot of legal issues for some for some of them some of you guys could have been dealing with a Libra. Okay, we got Ace of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting the energy of somebody knowing that they're about to go through some type of suffering or some type of judgment, some type of ruling. And it's giving me like this person is crying, okay? Because they feel like they should have made things work with you. Or it's like now they see that they should have stayed with you. They shouldn't have been flighty and going somewhere else or something like that. This person is shedding tears. Okay, whoever this is, they're going to be shedding tears this month. Yeah. Because you're happy. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing, y'all. Okay, children are watching and listening. And this is you guys being rewarded for listening to the most high, to listening to spirit, source, your angels. These are your rewards here. So I, I really feel like for a lot of you guys, there is a need for you to make sure you're taking time out for our father okay um go in prayer go in meditation whatever visions that shows up write them down okay whatever you see and it stands out to you write it down D yeah information god is talking to you this is the hand of god okay something something is going to come in to you that's really going to bring a lot of healing into your life yeah I'm, I'm be humble sit down okay this is what spirit is telling this person yeah there's somebody who needs to sit down or something about spirit setting this person down this was somebody who was too big for their bridges okay this person was out there doing nonsense or just hurting people or causing pain in people's lives and stuff like that this could have been somebody who thought that they got one up on you but in re reality like you was 10 up on this person this person whoever this is family they finna be looking very sad they finna be very hurt because something here did not go in their favor it did not work out and they're not going to have a choice but to leave 
okay, or to leave you alone. This could have been somebody who was trying to uh, drain you of your energy. This could have been a friend here or an ex-friend, okay, co-worker, associate, or somebody in your social circle that was trying to send you some negative energy, okay? This like them looking like this shit did not work. No, it did not work, okay? It all went back to them, okay? So now this person is having to leave you alone because they realized that something done came back on them or whatever they sent towards you they receiving it right now okay i'm hearing it's gonna get worse okay we got the ace of pentacles here i'm definitely hearing somebody's life is on the line with the ace of pentacles some uh ace of pentacles talk about anything physical so um this could be somebody money somebody could have been gambling money or owe somebody some money um Mm, I'm hearing 50 cent because he got hit like I got hit, but he ain't fucking breathing. Many men wish death upon me. So, family, somebody could. <laughs> okay, this for some of you. Some. I, I got to, because I ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, somebody definitely tried to send, like, a death spell towards someone or a death threat. And I feel like it got reversed because he got hit like I got hit, but he ain't fucking breathing. Yeah. Somebody is definitely going to go through some type of near-death experience here. This could have been somebody who was gambling or dealing with... um corrupt people i'm seeing like cartels okay or the mob or you know this is giving me some type of organization that is very violent somebody could owe somebody some money something could happen with the wheel on a car With the fool here, this is Aquarius energy. We got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius energy here. This could be like, I'm hearing bad drug, bad drug deal. Somebody need to be careful about getting drugs off the street because there could be a drug here that's laced with fentanyl. Family, y'all, if this is y'all, y'all be careful, okay? Be careful, okay? But I feel like for the majority of you, this is not for you. This this could be somebody you know. If you got loved ones out there that you know, you know, do certain things they shouldn't, you definitely need to have a talk with them, especially this month. Because I'm hearing too many chances. It's like spirit on gave whoever this is too many chances. Okay, like I said, you got a ghost from the past that's trying to make a decision here or is trying to figure out what they need to do or what they, how are they going to get out of a situation? Look at that. How are they going to get out of a situation? Seven of Swords. What's this, like a thief? Okay, but this thief done got caught or somebody who was being manipulating or conniving done got caught. They're trying to figure out how they're going to get out of a situation here. Okay. And I do feel like this is something dealing with legal issues or yeah, somebody done found out something about this person. Some somebody is in trouble. Yeah, we got the nine of cups. Okay, some of you guys could have been dealing with a Scorpio. But whoever like like I said, fam, this person is wanting to come towards you and talk to you. They want to reconcile with you. They want to heal things with you. But I feel like if they try to come towards you, that it's going to be a tower moment. Okay. It's going to be some type of tower moment here. And I feel like for some for some of you guys, this person is going to be stopped from even coming towards you. Like when this person gets to thinking about, okay, well, I'm going to drive by there. Or I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to call such and such and see what they're doing or whatever. It's like spirit going to put a stop to that before they can even reach you. Okay. It's going to be a tower moment just to even come towards you. Some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a Gemini. 
Yeah. What is that saying? It said, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. It's on a song, y'all. Damn. I don't know. I ain't got time to look it up. But if y'all know what I'm talking about, it's like they changed it around. It's on some type of song. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. It's something about I'm going to let it rain. Something. I don't know. Anyway, y'all, we got four alignment. We got the nine of pentacles here. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Virgo or this is definitely you. Baby, you were showing up as a nine of pentacles, baby. This is you being able to take care of yourself, your needs, your wants. You're not wanting for nothing, okay? You're not lacking for ish. This is you showing up being very independent or um, doing something here on your own, building something solid in your life. The nine of pentacles is one pentacle away from the ten of pentacles. So this is you guys being in full alignment. And I feel like spirit is asking for you to stay in this energy. Because something about when you get in full alignment, there could be certain influencers or a certain situation that can cause you to get out of alignment. And it's like, as soon as you see progress and this energy come in and start fucking with you, it's like you don't see that progress no more or things start to dwindle. Something about your needing to stay in this full alignment here. Because whatever is coming for you this season, this is something that is life-changing. This is going to see you through a metamorphosis. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the, um, the uh, Queen of Pentacles energy right now. Uh, some of you guys could be single at this time. Are you going to be doing something here on your own? Yeah. This is going to bring a lot of healing energy into your life. And I'm hearing you also going to be able to rest, okay, or rejuvenate. You're going to be able to rest and rejuvenate, okay? Or for some of you guys, like I said, you're going to be receiving a lot of messages from um, the cosmic realm in your sleep. I'm hearing receiving or something about them showing you things in your sleep. But I'm also hearing something about a death, okay? Some of you guys, you some you could end up finding out about someone, okay, that passed away. But with the Three of Swords here in the reverse, I don't feel like this is somebody you really got feelings for anymore, okay? Or I don't, I feel like you're going to be remorseful that this person passed away, but it's like, you know, it's not going to be heart-wrenching or heartbreaking. Like I said, there could be some type of news that's going to come to you. Are you going to see a vision here that somebody is not going to be around too much longer? And you're going to be able to see all this because you are in full alignment. Okay. You're going to get messages very clearly. Something like that. What I'm seeing here. King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Uh, this king of swords is definitely somebody is definitely going to want to come in and talk to you but whoever this is that's going to try to come in and talk to you they are so in their head about you and it's because you know a lot of secrets about them or this is somebody that know you know the truth about them they know and that's why they're apprehensive. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you got a stronger partnership that's going to be coming in. But there's something here you're needing to do. Okay, if you're single. Let's see. I'm only going to pull a couple of these, family. Because, damn, y'all, it's already an hour. <laughs> it's already... Aries, I swear I'd be losing myself in these readings. I'd be going over way too long. Some of you guys, you're definitely about to give birth to something new. You don't know how massive this is going to be or how this is going to change your life. It's going to bring in a lot of healing, okay? 
somebody could be a bartender or somebody stays at the bar somebody definitely drinks a lot i'm hearing dangerously somebody dangerously drink a lot okay somebody could work for the city uh we got waste management okay something here is definitely a waste or like this is getting rid of okay something about you guys throwing shit out okay or throwing things away or somebody was a waste of your energy or your time you're you know throwing it out throwing away getting rid of it no longer dealing with it i'm picking up for a lot of you guys you're cleaning up your life very well and you're going to be able to see the change. I'm hearing something about a fresh environment. I'm actually seeing someone like smelling the air or, you know, taking a deep breath. Okay. Somebody could be a correctional officer. Or like I said, somebody is definitely going to be facing some type of prison time, jail time. Somebody could end up reaching out to you while they're in prison or something. I don't know why I'm hearing drunk driver. Somebody could be driving drunk. All right. I don't know if something is going to happen or, you know, it could be an accident. Or somebody could end up having to do prison time. Some of you guys, you could end up meeting a correctional officer. But I'm hearing keys. I'm actually hearing keys jingling. I'm hearing you hold the key or somebody feel like you hold the key. I'm also getting like spirit locking someone up. Okay. Some type of judgment done been passed against some type of enemy, some enemy that you had. And it's like spirit is locking them up in the spiritual realm. And I feel like something here is taking place in the physical realm against this person. Somebody could have been a correctional officer or some, you could end up finding out some information. Okay. This could be through a friend that's a correctional officer. Okay. Regarding this person or something. Okay. We got writer. Okay. Some you're needing to write for whoever I'm talking to. You're needing to write. You're needing to um, express or get something out something that's coming through the spiritual realm you're needing to put it on paper this is going to be very very important anything that you receive okay this month you're needing to put it on paper or journal it okay but there's going to be a need for you to write it down or get it out some of you guys you could be writing a book or you're thinking about writing a book you could be um coming up with like a plan you could be writing down some type of plan that you plan on executing. You could be writing down things that you need to take care of. This could be certain bills or like uh, debts that you're needing to get rid of. And you could be checking them off like as you go, because I'm seeing you getting rid of a lot of things here that's been on your mind. Or maybe you didn't have it in the past. I feel like you're going to have it um, in the near future and you're going to be checking things off. Somebody could end up writing you a letter from prison. Um, look at this anchor. Somebody is wanting to stay stuck to you or something. <gasps> yeah. It's like, even though they locked up, this person is still going to try to find a way to get a message to you. Or maybe if this person is blocked at this time, they still going to try to find a way to get some type of um, information to you or something. We got bakery and cakes. Now, we got recipe over here as well. Create your own recipe. Some of you guys, you're meant to start your own bakery, okay? Or um, you're meant to cook. You're meant to start your own recipe book. You're meant to do something here. Or you're really good at it. I don't know why I'm hearing adult cakes. So you could be um, 
you know how they put the alcohol bottles inside the cakes and stuff like that um you could end up doing something like this maybe that's why i've been seeing so much alcohol i feel like it's going to be very very successful but i'm also getting the energy of somebody is wanting to reap off of your talents okay somebody want to reap off of your talents here or for some of you guys like if you have been eating a lot of sweets i feel like spirit is going to be calling for you to like let that go or to purge that energy okay or so whatever this is i feel like it's doing something to you physically and you could be feeling this like you know why do i feel like this right now i feel like spirit going to be showing you images of certain things you need to let go of this month and you could end up taking action here or there's going to be a need to take some type of action but i'm hearing something about sugar and sweets or bread okay pasta something about pasta we got social security administration so some of you guys you could be needing to go to the social security office this month or you work at the social security office um there could be i'm hearing something about money for some of you guys you could have been waiting on some money to come in this could end up coming in this month this could be regarding some type of disability or somebody been trying to hold your money i don't know why i feel like somebody out there i'm talking to have some type of disability or this is giving me like lupus or something dealing with the blood something dealing with blood pressure this could be something dealing with the heart um there's something here that you're needing to let go of because this is causing a it's, it's affecting your body okay but i am hearing like somebody applying for disability and been waiting on their check or something here has been holding uh your check there could be something you're needing to check on Make sure you got all your paperwork or you done signed the necessary paperwork here. Because I, I feel like it's a reason why it's being held at this time. Here's, somebody could end up finding out that um, there's a person here that's been receiving their checks or something. Or somebody is wanting to monitor how much money you're going to be receiving or something like that. We got perfume and fragrances. So, family, for some of you guys, you uh, could smell really good. Okay. Like I told y'all, I kept seeing like a woman stepping outside, smelling the air. Something about smell. Um, You could end up starting your own line here. This could be perfume, fragrances. This could be lotions. um, Candles. This is something that smells good. This could be something you're wanting to invest in. You're needing to write some things down. You can end up finding a company that can help you come up with a fragrance. And I feel like whatever this is, it's going to be very, very successful. Yeah. Something about your senses being heightened. Your senses. Okay developing your senses this is giving me like all six of your senses is going to be working very um well this month okay i'm here at heightened heightened senses or pay attention to smells i'm getting also like there could be somebody around you and this person could give off a certain smell and th this could be somebody that you know stay clean or you know they take a bath and all that but this person give off a smell um you're needing to pay attention to that because a lot of times when a person you know you know that person is clean and this and that a lot of times they have the money attachments to them or entities attached to them as well yeah something like that y'all mm. Family, I'm not going to have time to do no ruins. I don't think so. Y'all, I need to do the Pisces reading. 
these children about to be here. I'm just gonna pull a couple. I need to see for the Aries. Let's see. Okay, I'm hearing something about video or Vogue. Vogue. Bib. Somebody definitely could have a baby. I'm seeing Bib. Somebody nickname could be Jay. Okay, his family's <laughs> look, Spirit wants you to be careful how much you're spending. Okay, because I'm seeing for some of you guys, you could be buying a lot of things. Or um somebody could feel like they can buy themselves in your life or something. Or they can tempt you. Something about be aware of temptation. I feel like y'all are gonna be very busy this month. Look, we got busy here. Busy. Some of you guys, your middle, your first, middle, or last initial could start with a B, a U, V, J, S, Y, I, U, and V. A couple more. I'm hearing Jasmine. Somebody name could be Jasmine. We got F, O, P, J, and U. I'm also hearing phony. Okay, you know somebody out here is a phony or they're a fraud. Okay, somebody nickname could be BJ or Susie, Susanna. I'm hearing FYI for your information. So there's going to be some type of information that's going to come in to you. Y'all, look, I got to get up off here. I love y'all so much. I'm Y'all next reading is going to have the ruins and I can go through it very detailed. I got to go get these kids. I hear my mom out here blowing this horn. I love y'all so much. And until we talk again later, 